Hi there, I'm Brian Taylor, owner of Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. Today I'm really excited to take you on a tour of this 2007 American tradition. It's the bath and a half floor plan, the 40Z floor plan. It's in beautiful condition both inside and out. So let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, we're going to start our tour of this coach here on the inside. This is a 2007 American Tradition 40Z floor plan. Now the 40Z has three slide outs. The overall length outside is about 40 foot 11 inches. Uh, this one's powered by the Cummins um, 400 horsepower ISL. Uh, that is an 8.8 .8 liter engine. It's also got the Allison 3000 World 6-speed transmission. And uh, this thing has been maintained superbly. Uh, the last few years, all the maintenance has been done at either the Rev Group in Indiana, at Spartan, uh, the Spartan facility in Michigan, or at Cummins in either Michigan or Massachusetts when the uh, owner was up in that area. Uh, spent some time up there, some time down here in the south. And uh, this one has about 98,000 miles, uh, but is in phenomenal condition, beautiful condition both inside and out uh, been very well taken care of so what we're going to do in this tour is I'm going to take you through the uh, through the uh, layout uh, show you what the 40z looks like I'm going to show you some of the features I'm sure uh, I'm not going to be hitting all of them uh, luxury coach like this is going to have a very long list of standard and optional features and my intention isn't to hit every one of those I mainly want to give you an overview of the coach show you the layout some of the important features and also point out the condition the motorhome is in. We do these videos so that you can do shopping in the comfort of your own home and you can get a really accurate idea of the real condition the coach is in. So uh, I'm not going to hold back any punches. If I see a flaw somewhere, I'm going to point it out. This thing is in, in, in superb condition, but uh, I'm sure as we go through, I'll see a flaw here or there. So I'm not only going to point out the good stuff, I'm going to point out any wear and tear or flaws that we see. So kind of starting the tour up here at the front we have cherry cabinetry throughout the coach solid cherry cabinetry there's no press board in the cabinets or anything like that this is part of uh, Fleetwood's luxury line of coaches and the American line is is very very nice and it features all wood cabinetry so um, up in here we've got controls for our patio awning which does have a wind sensor um, this is stuff to do with the satellite control, your slide outs here. Uh, coming over to this is just a little storage up here. Down below that we've got some more controls, uh, kind of like the brains of the coach in this area. You've got your charger and inverter control right here for your magnum inverter, air conditioning thermostat. This is your, uh, your coach management system for the uh, power power management system so this is going to sense whether you have 50 amp 30 amp or generator power and it's going to allow you to run um, it's going to automatically uh, switch between items so that you uh, it seamlessly will uh, keep everything working so even if you're plugged into 30 amp service uh, it should do a very good job of uh, cycling air conditioners and and shutting one thing down to allow you to have power for another pretty common feature but uh, um, that is a, a, a nice thing to have and certainly uh, standard on, on just about every diesel pusher. Over here we have our Zantrax Auto Gen Start, uh, our tank monitors right here, and this is a power electric um, antenna for the roof. Coming around to here, we've got just a cabinet there. We've got a Sony flat screen television uh, up here that works, works great. Over beside that we've got the controls for the newer upgraded uh, satellite system on the roof. This has the WineGuard Traveler system and that is, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with that, the Traveler will work with DirecTV or Dish Network and it's I think the only um, satellite that is capable of getting DirecTV's full high definition uh, setup. Uh, if you go to the domes and most other uh, antennas, you're only going to get standard definition with DirecTV. So this is the, the top of the line wine guard. 
uh, down below that we have a DVD surround system uh, or actually that's just a DVD player I'm sorry the uh, surround is kind of all integrated in um, it'd be something to be easier to demo to you you've got a little switch up here for the home theater system and it uses the uh, existing coach speakers uh, to allow the sound to come through we've got more cabinetry over here above the driver's seat if we come up to the driver and passenger seats both of these are in fantastic shape there's no rips or anything like that it is real leather and they are in very nice condition um, not going to say brand new but they're definitely um, especially for an 07 I'm going to say they're uh, probably an eight and a half uh, they show minor, very minor wear on the surfaces, uh, but no, no cracking or anything like that, um, just in really, really nice shape. Uh, coming up here to the dash area, you can see we've got these power blinds. We've got a complete room darkening shade, and we also have the light filtering. We have that in the front, as well as both side windows, and these are power and these also function as your sunshades when you're traveling. The dash itself is in uh, perfect condition. You've got a black uh, vinyl area up here with tan. Over here you've got a lot of real wood, the real cherry. This folds out for storage right there. And got a lot of wood on the dash. It really looks sharp. The American traditions are very pretty entryway. You've got, you've got some LED lighting strip here at the entryway. Uh, down here to, to illuminate the uh, step well. As you come up into here, you've got, you've got tile all the way through to the front. However, it's got a custom-made rug up here so that you uh, keep this area cleaner and uh, it works really great. Over here, we've got our power gear leveling. We've got air and hydraulic leveling on this, so you can do both. Right here's our stereo, our air conditioning controls, and the dash air blows great. Over here we have our smart wheel control, so you can control your cruise control, your, your lights, and your uh, wipers from the steering wheel, so you don't have to fumble around the dash for those controls. And over here we have power electric windows, your, um, your Allison transmission uh, control right there. So uh, all of this area is just in great shape. There's very little wear or tear. There's a little bit of wear on the top of this, I mean, just very, very minor, normal wear and tear. Definitely very well taken care of. However, uh, just short of new looking is a good way to maybe put it. Uh, we do offer a detailed picture package if you are from out of town, very far distance away. We can uh, take a very detailed picture package. On a coach like this, you'll probably get 150 to maybe 200 pictures of every surface of this motorhome. Uh, nothing, nothing substitutes for seeing the motorhome firsthand, so we certainly encourage you to come look at it if you're local. But for folks who live further than a couple hours away, we'd be glad to take a detailed picture package package for you, send that to you, and I will guarantee with that package that you will see everything on the coach. If there's a flaw, we're going to take a picture of it. If something looks brand new, we're going to take a picture of it. So you're going to have no surprises when you get here. Uh, coming back to the living area, over here we have a jackknife sofa. Uh, this just uh, jackknifes out. Uh, over here we have our same day-night shades. These are MCD shades. They are a uh, just a very smooth acting type roller shade and you have the complete room darkening with and also the uh, light filtering side. We have a lot of LED lighting inside. It's been converted. Most of the fixtures have been converted over to LED as you can see here. All of this cabinetry is in really nice shape. You've got uh, storage up above this whole area. Um, Coming over to the opposite side, this has the, the desk option. So what we have over here is down below you're going to have an area for a printer. This is a nice pull-out tray as well. You could even put a printer or something like that in there as well. Uh, it, you could just use those for multiple things. You've got a really nice Corian countertop here for your workstation. This area is going to open up and allow for a keyboard tray to come out. You could set either your laptop or your keyboard there. Uh, all solid wood, very well designed, very well put together. 
Over here we have some more cabinetry that you could use for, you know, whatever, software, books, whatever you would want to do. A uh, couple of windows here. Uh, all the shades are in very nice condition. More storage up above. The carpet is in very, very, very nice condition. Um, uh, very little wear or tear, uh, just in really, really nice condition up here. I don't see any rips or stains or traffic areas or anything like that. Now we are, we do not have a chair in here right now. I normally would put a chair in here, um, but in this case, I'm not sure if a customer may want a lounge chair, let's say a European style chair and ottoman, or maybe a European style recliner, or you may want more of the office chair type uh, setup. So in a situation like this, we try to not make that decision for the person. We can certainly help in getting a piece of furniture put in here, uh, but we made the decision to just go ahead and leave that up to the customer and we'll work that out with the sale of the motor home. So coming back from there, we have our freestanding dinette. Both of our chairs here are a really nice contemporary armless styles and they are in very, very, very good condition, almost brand new condition, I would say. I really don't see any dirty soiled areas or frays, even down here at the legs where a lot of times people's feet hit the uh, legs of the chair, it's in perfect shape. All the Corian countertops are in beautiful condition here. Uh, we've got, uh, again, more windows back behind there with those same shades, more windows here. So we have a total of four windows in the slide out. And we've got a dinette fixture up here with the LED bulbs that have been uh, put in there. The main living area is all tile floor. And I don't really see any, t any cracks, hairlines, or chips, or anything like that as I'm looking at it. We certainly would examine this even closer if we were doing that detailed picture package. But as I'm looking and I'm really trying to find things, I don't see any cracks. Uh, or anything like that. So they're in absolutely almost perfect condition, if not perfect condition. It just really looks good. Coming over to the kitchen, we have a bank of three drawers right here. All these drawers are just, they work flawlessly. Uh, very good attention to detail and how they're put together. We've got storage down below. Got a little flip out drawer right here. We've got our double bowl sink. It is a stainless undermount sink and it is in good condition. There's no staining in the, in the uh, stainless or anything. The only thing that, that you have in there is just your normal type little scratches you're gonna get really from the very first time you use a sink if it's stainless, but very, very, very nice condition. Cabinetry up above here, again, all of this is, is lined. We've got carpeting, like really low, low pile carpeting in the um, cabinets so that things don't rattle and scoot around as easy. You have a pot filler style uh, faucet here and it is in black so it's a really nice uh, contemporary design. This is a soap dispenser. Coming over here we have our uh, stove and it's a three burner cooktop. So we've got a stove there and this below is not an oven. Down below we have a dishwasher. So you have a nice black front uh, dishwasher in here. It's a Fisher & Piquel dishwasher. And um, you could hear it kind of beep as it was uh, starting up there. It's in really nice condition. We have a convection oven up above. So all of your baking can be done up here as well as microwaving. Nice big full size oven in here. This is a uh, residential size. Uh, we have our cabinet right here. This is our multiplex style lighting controls. So you just, if you want to turn off your lighting, you just touch a button and you can, uh, you can operate the lighting that way. All of the Corian on the countertops is in really nice condition. Um, there's just very, very minor, like little hazing type of scratches on the surface just from normal, normal use. Uh, probably just, I mean, it's, they're, they're in really, really nice shape. Um, just again short of brand new. Uh, they're in really excellent condition. Right here we've got a bank of three more drawers so you've really got quite a bit of storage there in the uh, in the kitchen. Got a mirror right here. Coming over to this side you can see we have a 
very large refrigerator. It looks like a res residential refrigerator, and you will think it's a residential at first glance. However, it is a um, RV refrigerator. It will work off of propane and electric. So you're going to be able, if you're wanting to do any dry camping, this is the type of um, refrigerator you're going to want. Uh, works great, but you got the look of the residential with the functionality of the RV refrigerator. There are a couple of dings in the door of this refrigerator. Um, not sure from what, but just in, in getting uh, uh, either people coming through here, but these are these can tend to be a bit, a bit fragile and, and dent up. And you've got a dent right here and a, a smaller dent down here. Um, doesn't jump right out at you, but again, we want to point all this stuff out. Down below we have our breaker panel right there. And this is a pull-out pantry. They latch very solidly because there's latches. Actually, a total of, I think, uh, there's like two latches at the top on this one. And I believe this one has even more latches. Uh, it's actually just two at the top. So they've got two latches that latch. And inside here, you can see we've got storage for hanging uh, wine glasses up here. And again, all of this is real wood, solid wood in there. You can see we've got the decorative ceiling in here. This is a mirror down the center with the wood barrier, or wood edges, I should say. It's not really a barrier. And you've got some rope lighting back in there. Very elegant look. Adds a lot of interest to the ceiling and makes it look much more high end. In here we have our half bath. This floor plan is a bath and a half layout, so that is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, layouts nowadays are the bath and the half design. Down here we have the, uh, the uh, central vacuum. Over here is our corner vanity. Lots of mirrored medicine cabinet space up here. A couple of towel hooks over here. We've got our, our china toilet right here. And everything in here is in just beautiful shape. Uh, there's no damage, no uh, extensive wear or tear. This is a really nice layout when you have guests over and you don't really want them to go back into maybe your private bathroom area. It's really nice to have this half bath up here when you have folks over. And it's also just nice to have two toilets. Uh, so uh, you've got kind of that, uh, just the best of both worlds here with two bathrooms. Uh, here we've got more pantry area and a couple of drawers down below. Nice deep drawers. And then we're gonna head back into the master uh, bedroom. So over here we have our queen bed. We have a lot of uh, cabinetry up above and a really nice kind of U-shaped U layout there. We also have the sleep number bed. So you've got the uh, very, very comfortable bed. Um, it's in great shape. We've got our factory uh, bedspread still and it's in excellent condition. Uh, we're able to start our generator from over here beside the bed and we've got a ceiling fan up above which is really nice so you got a little bit of extra ventilation up here. Coming over here we have another Sony uh, television back here and we have a Sony uh, two-channel uh, stereo system back here I believe for the uh, for the audio video and down below we have our uh, electronics for that that might be a full surround system I may be mistaken on that I'll have to look into it, it does look like there's areas back here for speakers I was thinking this is a two-channel system because there's no chan uh, no center channel but I might have to check that out to verify that over here we got cabinetry couple of drawers beneath here, a bank of three drawers over here, so lots of bedroom storage, and everything is in also beautiful condition back here. There's really not any wear or tear so much to point out on any of the cabinetry. I'll certainly look over it in uh, more detail uh, if you um, are ordering that um, that picture package or want to come in from out of town, but I'm not really seeing any wear around the, the handles where sometimes you see a lot of scratches where people's fingernails have rubbed, but everything is in really nice shape. The, the carpet back here is in beautiful condition, um, very, very nice. Coming back into the, to the rear bathroom, this is our full bath back here, and we've got a uh, carpeted floor here, 
and um, it's in really nice condition. We've got a nice big corner shower here and it's a molded type of surface that looks like Corian, but I don't believe it is Corian. It's actually a thinner product than that. A really big skylight up above and it's crystal clear. Uh, no fogging in that or anything like that. We've got gold colored or brass colored faucets back here which are in very nice shape. There's very minimal uh, wear on that finish. It, they, they show very, very nice. In fact, these look almost new. All of this looks really, really good. A little bit of tarnish on this one little piece right here and that's about it. You've also got a seat there in the corner or an area where you can put a foot up while you're uh, washing. It's got a nice uh, glass enclosure there and all that glass is in great shape. Kind of looking back here into this cabinet, you can see just how how much space you've got back here in the rear wardrobe for hanging area. It's cedar lined, which is nice. Over here we have our washer dryer combo. Up above that we have a nice big deep storage area. We have a couple of drawers down below. And then over here we have a nice big storage area. It'd probably be really good for uh, bedding, uh, maybe a linen closet for towels and things like that. And up above that we have another big deep one and this is kind of a, 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 a bifold uh, door on this. So that's pretty much the inside of this uh, American tradition. It's in fantastic shape. So uh, hopefully you like it. Let's go ahead and go continue our tour on the outside. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our tour of this coach here on the outside. To refresh your memory, it's a 2007 American coach, American tradition, 40Z floor plan. This one, uh, the 40Z is about 40 foot, uh, 11 inches long on the outside, so one, sh one inch short of 41 foot. It has three slide outs. Uh, this has the Cummins 400 horsepower engine, the Allison six-speed transmission, and um, this one has 98,000 very meticulously cared for um, miles on it. And it's had a lot of recent stuff done to it, maintenance items. Our tires are very recent, and we have a pretty good list of, uh, of recent things that have been done to it in the description on this ad. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, should be a link in the description to the uh, ad on our web page which will have pricing and stuff like that so uh, we do not put pricing in our videos because uh, sometimes that price changes for one reason or another and we don't want to have to go back and change the video every time uh, if that happens so um, again if you want to see the details uh, in the ad click over to our uh, to our website uh, you may be watching this video in RV Trader or RVT, so you've already you're already aware of that. But there is a, a pretty uh, a, a good list in the description uh, on the inventory item as to what's been done recently. The outside paint scheme on this is charcoal with a burgundy red and silver. Really pretty scheme. The paint is all in just fantastic condition absolutely beautiful very 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 few flaws in it at all uh, any anything uh, that I do see I'm going to point out to you but there's very few scratches uh, I don't think there's any dents or anything like that anywhere on it um, there's also a gold champagne colored stripe on it as well so you can see our entry door area here uh, down below the steps and the uh, step well area there is clad in uh, a, a stainless steel and you can see we have polished uh, polished aluminum or stainless steel down the whole length of the uh, motorhome that is about a three to four thousand um, dollar addition uh, it's not a factory add-on it is a an aftermarket add-on but adds a lot to this coach uh, in the area of, of looks. It really looks sharp. Everybody who sees the coach notices it right off the bat, and I don't think I've ever had anybody look at it and say they didn't like it. It is abs absolutely gorgeous, and it adds a lot to the visual interest of the outside. Um, 
Our front wheels are um, are uh, solid aluminum, the Alcoa style. I believe they're Alcoa, and they're highly polished. And I believe they have the clear coating on them because they don't they don't have any tarnish whatsoever and they're very very shiny uh, they're a little dusty right now the coach needs uh, a light uh, bath because it's been on the front line but this the tire or the wheels are very shiny the front tires were replaced in 3 of 17 so uh, March of 2017 so uh, just about a year old on the front tires Coming back from there, all of this area, the paint up here is gorgeous. We do have a window shade that pulls out that will attach right onto here. That gives you shade, additional shade on that window if you did not have your patio awning out. We have a very large patio awning with the wind sensor on it. You can see just how big it is. Um, works great. All the fabric's in beautiful condition. Down beneath here we have an outside entertainment system, got a Sony television with some speakers and some cherry cabinetry back behind there. Back behind that is uh, just a wide open storage area and this has, it's one big storage area here so it, it, you can put really large items in here. This side has the slide out tray and if you notice this bag back here it just got a custom full cover for the motorhome. So if you were going to store it outdoors and you wanted to fully protect it, you can put that cover on it and I believe it covers the top portion of the motorhome. Um, so it gives you a, a covering over the roof. Really nice um, setup there. All the bays are in beautiful shape. They're not uh, dirty or anything like that. They're in really beautiful condition. Um, Right up here is our Magnum Inverter. Uh, all of each of these doors are in beautiful shape. I don't think there's any scratches at all, even a nick in the paint that I see. Mainly, I believe, because this uh, metal cladding has protected the most sensitive or most vulnerable part of the paint down below. Most of the rock chips would be happening down here, and that's protecting it. And I don't know if you can see, but this is almost a mirror finish on this area. Just really, really nice shape. Uh, all of our door latches look almost brand new. Uh, no fading to those at all. They're very deep black. Um, all of this paint's great. Of course, no delamination anywhere on the motorhome at all. If you notice any spots on the side of the motorhome right now, we are filming in 4K video now, so you're probably going to see every little nook and cranny. You're probably going to see every wrinkle on my face now. These are little blind mosquitoes, we call them here in Florida. We are right now inundated with these little blind mosquitoes, which don't bite, but are a total nuisance. So if you see that, it's just uh, little, uh, little bugs on the side of the coach. The back tires were replaced. Um, they are, uh, I have written down three of 18, so they're uh, very, very new, uh, just done before we got it. Uh, the date code is turned in on this one, but I got this information from the owner. Um, and, of course, we double-checked that, but uh, it's, they're brand-new tires on the rear. Again, all beautiful condition back here. Inside here, we have storage as well as some electrical components and stuff. It's all in nice shape. And then in here, we have an area for engine maintenance and stuff. We have our fuel filters and stuff like that. Over here's our hydraulic power unit. We have a coach batteries up above and all of this is in a really nice area. So if you did need to access this while you're driving, uh, let's say you, most, most seasoned uh, RVers uh, with diesels will always travel with an extra fuel filter because you never know if you get a bad batch of fuel somewhere. If you need to spin a new fuel filter on, it's all right here uh, in a very convenient area to do that. Whoops, didn't mean to slam that down. Coming around to the back uh, of the motorhome, all this area is in really, really nice shape. This area, a lot of times on motorhomes, can be very prone to a lot of scratches because of tow bars and stuff like that. There are a couple of very minor, tiny little scratches and nicks on this, but almost, uh, 
almost nothing back here. It, it's almost perfect. Um, do have this chrome strip right here that is plastic chrome. It is tarnished. I actually have some of this. I believe it's the same profile that we may be able to replace this. Uh, if, if, even if we don't have it in stock, this is a, a pretty common off the part shelf um, type of molding. And if that was done back here on the back, that's really uh, be the only thing I could point out on the whole rear is just that this plastic chrome is faded. Um, lifting up the engine compartment area, you see our red Cummins engine back in there. Everything is nice and clean. We don't, do not clean these engines. We leave them just the way that they come in so that customers can see uh, if, we, uh, if we have a, a leak back there or anything like that. So this is just the way it came in and it's dry as a bone. Don't see any oil leaks or anything like that. Right here's your battery master for the, for the chassis. And everything back here is in really nice shape, nice and clean. We do have a ladder that goes up to the roof and you could see that ladder extension when we looked in the storage bay over there on the side. Um, all of our lights are in nice condition. Coming around to the side of the coach, um, I think this was part of the cladding package. We have these chrome uh, slats on the radiator uh, right there which look really sharp. And here's our 50 amp electrical cord. Uh, this is our back bedroom slide out. All of this is in gorgeous shape. Right in here is our wet bay. And just look how clean that is. I mean, you could, you could eat lunch out of here. It's so clean. Uh, it's all, the, all the white is nice and clean. The black is nice and tidy. There's no odors when you open that. Uh, everything's right where it should be. We got a whole house water filter right there. Coming forward of that is the other side of that big storage bay. This is that slide out. No, it's a split slide out. I didn't mention that on the other, when we were on the other side. We've got a small slide on this side and a, a, this is about one third uh, of the width of the coach. The other one's about two thirds. So it's like a one third, two third split on the trays. This is our furnace right here, the back side of our refrigerator. And this is a fresh water fill. Uh, this is just going to be the other side of that storage uh, bay right there. And this right here should be our propane tank. And this is fully enclosed. So we have um, that propane tank is, is all enclosed in here. And it's absolutely beautiful condition. There's not any rust, mainly because it's enclosed. But it is uh, beautiful in there. Very, very nice condition. Coming up to the front, again, our front wheel is in just as nice a shape as the other side. Again, all the tires are within one year old or about one year old on the front, practically new on the back. Um, all the side walls are perfect. No, no uh, crazy cracking in any of the paint. No delamination, no bubbles, no, no dents, no nothing. Uh, coming up to the front, the front of the coach is in really really nice shape actually sold this coach to the current owner several years ago and when i got it in it had the clear protection film on it which had turned so we took the clear protection film off and it is uh, still in fantastic shape up here there are a handful of little chips on the front some of which have been touched up almost invisible but if there's any flaws on the paint it's limited to this area up front we don't have that aluminum cladding up front or the stainless cladding so this is subject to getting some rock chips however i much prefer dealing with the little rock chips to putting in the clear protection film on i'm not a big fan of the clear protection film at least down here in the south it does not hold up well for us so i i definitely lean toward uh, just doing whatever touch-up needs to be done on this paint as needed. And then up above we have a one-piece windshield. This was also replaced recently. Uh, it's virtually new. Uh, you can see we've got our, our windshield wipers that operate from the top. And our mirrors, our chrome mirrors, hang down rather than have the arms down here coming up. So it, it adds a more bust type of look to it. I really like it. 
Plus these have triple mirrors in them and you have really good field of view when you're looking down the side of the coach while you're driving. We also have turn signal cameras, which I did not point out uh, earlier, but if you put on your left turn signal, you're gonna see a view down the left side of the coach. Same with the right, put the right turn signal on, you'll see down the right. When it's in the neutral position, you're gonna see out your rear view camera. So um, that's a really nice safety. Uh, safety feature and once you get used to having especially that view down your blind side while you're driving down your passenger side you'll never want to go back it's a really really nice feature so um, hopefully this uh, walkthrough has been uh, helpful to you um, if you're interested in the motorhome and again coming from very long distance away make sure and call us we'll send you more information on it and um, and try to answer any questions you might have uh, if you want to visit us online, our website is www.highwayrv.com. You can also connect with us on Facebook at our Highway RV Facebook page. And if you're watching this video on YouTube and you'd like to get a notification whenever we film new videos, it's a great way to keep up on our new inventory. Click the subscribe button and you'll, you'll be able to get a notification every time we film a new video. Uh, you can also call us at 863 956-1036. My name's Brian, but whoever answers the phone will be glad to help you out. I really hope that this video has been helpful to you in making a buying decision. We really do our best to point out any flaws that we see and, and really try to make these, um, these videos as accurate as possible. So hopefully it's been helpful to you. We sure do appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I realize it's probably not the shortest video you've ever watched, but um, we appreciate it. So you have a great day and God bless.